wildfires. It was just devastating. This is the exhibit at the Gold Star Museum, which features Iowans who served over in Kuwait during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Uh, it was the largest call up of reserve components since World War II. And uh, Iowa Guard units, uh, Navy Reserve, Army Reserve, uh, Marine Corps Reserve units from Iowa all participated. Joe Coons of Ankeny served in Vietnam all the way to Desert Storm. Latter part of, of November, early December, we landed in approximately this area right in here. Mm -hmm. This gives you an overview of the entire operation of Operation Desert Storm, Desert Shield as it, as it began, but ultimately Desert Storm. Kevin Davis was a young kid out of Perry when he arrived in the desert. And we saw these streaks of light come across the sky, which turned out to be Patriot missiles knocking down uh, Iraqi, the Iraqi Scud, Scud missiles, and we saw a lot of that early on. A couple of the missions Iowans had there, one was providing water in the desert and transporting prisoners. Uh, we had uh, huge bladders, 50,000 gallon bladders on the ground filled full of water. We were supplying water to uh, uh, the French Foreign Legion uh, and several different units. Um, so I was a mechanic. I joined as a mechanic and I also drove truck. Um, so we hauled over 10,000 prisoners um, during that war and we also logged um, over half a million miles in the, in the, the war zone. Both men are thankful that they had this opportunity to serve at this time. When I turned 18, I was on my way to Vietnam. Uh, I spent uh, three and a half years on, on a tanker in the South China Sea, the Gulf of Tonkin. Got married, had a couple kids. And then later on, I thought, you know, I really would like to see what it would be like on the ground. That's when I joined the Iowa National Guard. I saw what was on the ground. <laughs> I think we did that one right. We had a lot of... Uh, we had a lot of good leadership. Um, we, uh, we had the support of other nations and uh, we went in and, and, uh, and, and got the mission accomplished. From Camp Dodge, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News. The Iowa Gold Star Military Museum is open Tuesday through Saturday and they're open every week. They do such a great job out there, really taking yeah. Iowan stories and putting them on display. Absolutely. It's great to see our veterans go out there and enjoy that as well.